Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Thilo. In this little tutorial we will learn how to work with the highlight fixture mode in the Matrix 5 patch editor. Highlight a fixture is interesting when you for instance want to check if a fixture is placed or to check if it is configured correctly in the patch. Highlighting fixtures works only with patched fixtures. So we will use the patch of the tutorial import a fixture list. You will find the link to download this tutorial in the description and also in the eye on the top right side of this tutorial. To visualize the highlight fixture functionality we are using an executable visualizer file, a so-called presentation from Capture Sweden. You can download the visualizer file in the description of this tutorial. Of course, you have to connect the visualizer file and matrix. How to connect the visualizer and matrix you can learn in the tutorial Connecting Matrix 5 with a visualizer using Streaming ACN. As always, the link to this tutorial you will find in the description and in the eye on the top right corner of this tutorial. Now let's have a look how the highlight fixture mode is working in the Matrix 5 patch editor. To enable the highlight fixture mode we navigate in the toolbar to highlight and select it. Now the highlight mode is activated and in the visualizer you can see no output. That's the default settings for Matrix 5. If I enable a fixture, for instance this top one, and now have a look at the visualizer, we can figure out there is an issue. Because of I select the top one and it is highlighted the bottom one. That means here in this patch is something wrong. Let's check with the other top fixtures. The fixture of the diamond is also wrong. And the second circle. There is also something wrong. It seems to be we have to flip the full patch. So we select all fixtures. Therefore we press the control key down and an A. Now all fixtures are selected and we navigate to edit flip selection vertically. Now let's check it via the highlight functionality again. Select the first fixture, seems to be correct. The second one seems also to be correct. Now in the diamond seems to be correct, seems to be correct. And the circle again, that seems to be correctly. Now we also can figure out when highlight is activated, no output of the matrix effects is running. But we can change this option. If we want to have also an output of a matrix effect and a highlight color, we navigate to options, go to the highlight tab and here in this section we can change the settings. So we can change for instance the highlight color to blue, press apply, now it is blue and also we can change the mode from highlight color and black to highlight color and output apply and we can figure out now we will highlight one fixture at the moment and all other fixtures will be displayed with the output color of matrix. So we also can change the highlight color for instance to green, apply and now it will be highlighted in green. After a click OK the options will be closed. Please pay attention, as long as highlight is activated and the fixture is selected, the fixture will be highlighted in the desired color. Also when I minimized the patch editor, when I now 
change something in the effects, for instance, from left to right or right to left, you will see the highlight functionality is still activated. That means to disable the highlight functionality, we have to disable it here in the patch or if highlight is activated, we can close the patch editor. Let us have an additional check if everything is patched correctly. Therefore, we change the playback side. That means we move the crossfader to the right side and have a look if the SCE color scroll is displayed correctly in the visualizer. When we have a look to the diamond shape, we can figure out there must be something wrong. It seems to be the fixtures are rotated in the wrong direction. So we open the patch editor again. Now we select only the diamond shape. Therefore I press down the shift key and create a bounding box with the mouse. Release the mouse first and the settings section I change to rotation to 90 degree and click OK. By the way, when we highlight a picture with more than one pixel, activate highlight again, you can figure out the first pixel is flashing. First pixel means that's the pixel with the lowest DMX addressing. That shows you this is the pixel which is the first one and when you rotate you can figure out how to rotate a picture. Now close the patch editor again and when we now have a look to our SCE color scroll and also to the visualizer we can figure out everything is patched correctly. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.